Hola everybody! Today I'm at a hotel in a really really small town in Peru called Santa Maria because I am on a four day trekking to Machu Picchu. I just finished my first day. I have a little bit of downtown right now and I found some new fruits at the fruit market that I've never seen or tried before and I would love to share them with you guys. So the first one that I have, and I'm sorry to say that it got a little bit crushed in transit, but this is a cactus fruit. And it's a really nice orange color and it has these little, not really spines, but I don't know the word for them so I'll call them spines, all over. And the fruit vendor told me that the way to eat this is to chop off the top, the bottom, and then to cut open the skin and then eat the insides. So let's do that. At the top where it got a little bit mashed and the bottom okay and the inside looks like a really gorgeous bright orange color let's continue cutting the skin okay so i've cut the skin and i've cut it in half and again it's this beautiful orange and yellow color with some small seeds in the middle so let's give it a taste cheers mmm Oh, I really like this one. This one has kind of the texture of a pear. The seeds are kind of hard, but they're so small that you really don't notice them when you eat it. And the flavor is kind of mild, but slightly sweet. It kind of tastes like a mix between a pear and, let me see, maybe between a pear, a watermelon, and an apple. Um, it has notes of all those three fruits in it. Wow, I didn't expect this to taste like this at all, but I really like this cactus fruit. The next fruit that I have looks familiar, so it looks like a giant tangerine or mandarin or clementine, but like an ugly version. I don't know if you can see, but the skin is all like shriveled up and there's also some green and brown spots on there. And I think it's supposed to look like this because all the ones at the market look like this. And I think this is going to be easy enough to just peel. I don't know what this fruit is called, so if anyone knows, please tell me. Wow, it's so fragrant and actually beautiful on the inside. So the skin comes off super easily because it's so wrinkly and disconnected from the fruit. So it makes it super easy to peel. Inside, I don't know if you can see, but the pieces or the wedges just fall out by themselves. You don't need to pull them apart or anything. This little guy, let's give him a taste. Mm. Mm-hmm. They actually taste just like clementines, except the chunks are much bigger. And this is actually perfect because if you like clementines and you don't want to peel like three or four of them at a time, you can just buy one of these and you can have basically the equivalent of probably five clementines in one fruit. So yeah, these are really good. All right, and the last fruit that I have is one that I've never seen or heard of before. The lady at the fruit market called it a pepino and she was so cute because when I asked her what it was, she was like, Pepino Dulce! So how could I not buy it from her? She was so excited about it. So this is called a pepino. It's very similar in how the skin feels as well as the shape of it to a tomato, except it's yellow and it has these brownish purplish stripes running through. Not really sure the proper way to eat this one, but let's cut it open and figure it out. Alright, so we have our pepino. Let's cut that. Oh wow. That's different. It looks like there's supposed to be a seed, but there's not. It's just a hollow core in the middle. Oh man, it smells so sweet and candy-like almost. What is the smell? It's so familiar. Like a honeydew, but like honeydew candies. So I don't know if you've ever had Asian like gummy or Asian candy snacks that are flavored like honeydew. That's exactly what this smells like, except it's a real fresh fruit. Oh, I'm really excited to try this one. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the skin, so I'm gonna cut some of the skin off. So here's the slice without the skin, and let's give this a taste. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. The flavor is also very similar to a honeydew, except the flavor is really concentrated and it's really sweet. Wow, again, so this is the pepino, and this fruit is awesome. If you ever have a chance to try pepino, definitely go for it. Alright, so that's all the new fruits that I have for you guys this time. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me eating my way through South America. And I hope everything is awesome on your side of the world. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!